Hey everyone, it's Mike from Orderflows, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Orderflows sequencing tool in Markers from the Indicator Store. You know, Markers is a great tool for automating your trading. And, you know, a question that I've gotten recently is, you know, can it be, can the Orderflow sequencing tool be automated? And yes, it can in Markers. So let me just take you through the setup really quick. Now, the instructions, you can find them in the description below. And it's just very easy steps. Obviously, open a new chart or use your existing one. You're going to turn on the chart trader, choose your ATM, add order flow sequencing. If it's not already there, you're going to add markers plus the force. You're going to add two copies of markers copy, one for the buy, one for the sells. Then you got to go in and set up the buy and sell copies. So go into markers plus and change first um, the working mode to auto, enable longs, enable shorts, enable fast signal modes because we're going to use fast signals. You can change the name of the fast signals name to longs for buys and the shorts to shorts. Or you can you can change it to whatever you want. I like to use longs and shorts. You could use buys and sells, whatever you like. It's up to you. Um, and the money management, you may, depending on the market you're trading, in this example, I'm going to be showing you ultra bonds. And ultra bonds is 31.25 a tick. And if you're trading micros, you, you can probably keep it at 500. But for ultra bonds, you know, you got to, you got to make it wider because based on your stop and your take profit, you know, on ultra bonds, I use a stop of uh, five ticks. So I'm changing it again to 5,000 up and down for max daily profit, max daily loss. Again, you could set it to a thousand if you want or 750, it's up to you. And then let's set up the individual markers copy. First, the buy, go in and change the markers variable name to longs, enable fast signal, uh, go to data series and add the order flow sequencing with the settings that you use the settings that you use you know you have to set them for both the buys and the sells um, change the uh, parameters plot for the normal buy signal then you got to change the setup how it's calculated to on each tick from on bar close and then the plots i like to keep it the same as the actual indicator which is blue triangle up eight and same thing for the cells only this time you're doing for this the shorts so you got to change the name to shorts Enable fast signal, data series. All right, you got to set up the order flow sequencing with the same settings that you use for your buys. But this time you're going to change it from normal buy signals to normal sell signal. Then you're going to calculate, change that from on bar close to on each tick and change the plots red, triangle down, eight. Okay, now a few last minute checks before trading. Make sure the ATM is selected. You're going to turn on auto mode and you're going to make sure the correct account is showing. All right, so let's take a look at a chart here. Okay, so here I have my normal chart. So first thing I'm going to do, add chart trader. If you don't already have it on, click apply. So it'll show up here. And then I'm going to go in and add the uh, indicator and the markers indicator. So first go here, we'll add the sequencing. I'll change it to the settings that I like, which is three and zero. I'm going to keep the trade entry signal on. Go to the indicator store folder, markers plus the force. Since I'm using markers copy, you got to add two, two instances of it, one for the buys, one for the sells. Okay, so first we'll set up markers of force. Um, the, this one here, the, the time and force, you can keep it as GTC, but just make sure at the end of the day all your orders are canceled or just change it to day. Um, working mode, change to auto, enable longs, enable shorts, fast signal mode. Okay, so you can see the names here. So for long trades, I'm going to change it to longs for buys. And for sells, I'm going to change it to shorts. Okay. And this is in here where you could change the max daily loss. Again, if you're trading micros, you can probably just keep it at 500. is fine, but I'm using uh, ultra bonds. So it's a bit uh, more risk involved. Okay, so for now I'm going to markers copy. So I'm going to set up the longs, the buy signals, right? I call them longs enable fast signal, change the setup to calculate on each tick and the plots, blue, solid, triangle up, eight. Now the most important step here, you gotta go into the data series, okay? And you gotta add the indicator in here. So go inside, open it up, sequencing, use the same setup, same settings that you wanna use, three, no look back. This is the buy signal, so I'll keep it on buy. Okay, click OK. That's the buy. Now the sells. 
same thing, but this time it's the cells. So I'm going to enable fast signal. Remember I called the cells shorts on each tick. Um, change the color here from blue to red because these are my cells, right? Um, instead of dot, I'm going to use triangle down, eight. And then the most important part here, the data series. Okay, so open that up, go to um, the indicators, sequencing, three, turn that off, change the plot, right? Because now I'm not plotting the buy signals, I'm looking at the sell signals. Click OK. Okay, now it's all set up. So just click apply. Okay. Click OK. And you see here, ultra bonds, right? So last minute checks, make sure this is on auto. The accounts have to match up, right? This one says playback, this one says sim. I'm using the playback account because I'm showing it to you after the market's closed. So change that, make sure that this matches this, right? The account up here matches the account here and choose your ATM, right? Click on there, ultra bonds, right? Make sure that this matches this. So you just click on here and it'll sync with what's there. All right, so I'm in the playback mode. Um, let me just start it up here. Uh, okay, it's showing me over the weekend here. Let me just speed it up. Okay, let me pause this video while this catches up here. Okay, here, so it's coming up on the 5 o'clock reopen. Let me just get a little bit closer here to the opening time. All right, so I'm going to show you the whole trading day, I guess. Um, of This is starting from the Sunday night uh, reopen. Okay, so here's the first trade. Okay, so you can see here when it hits the when it hits the profit, it's at 218 because it's a uh, in this in this example, it's a seven tick take profit and a five tick stop. Um, well, let me speed it up here. But I'll, I'll just run through the whole day so you can see how it was, rather than just show one trade. Now, of course, you know, every day is not going to be as a great day. Some days might be a little bit lesser. Some days might have a loss. But I, I just want you to see all the different um, trades for this day using this stop and take profit. Again, it's, it's depending on the market that you're trading. You know, you're going to have a different risk uh, ATM than what I'm using. All right. If you're trading, obviously, if you're trading micros or e-minis, um, you're going to have a different ATM strategy. Okay, so there that there was a loss. There was there was a trade it took here, right? And it, then it got reversed out. And then uh, so it took a s small loss. <laughs> All right, now it's you know there was another loss. Let's stop at 342. All right, another stop got triggered. All right, so it's, now I'm on at minus 156. So you see it's updating here. All right, minus 218. You know, the thing is, when, when you're trading auto, you know, using an auto trader, you really have to have your stop and take profit dialed in. Because, you know, there's going to be days where, you know, it seems like nothing can go wrong, right? Every trade is, is a winner. Um, there's going to be days where it, it just it doesn't quite go to your take profit. Maybe it goes 70% of the way there, you know, then, then comes in and stops you out. Me, personally, I like to use markers. Um, to get me into the trade and then I can manage it from there. You know, I, I could do the trade management by watching the order flow myself. So you can see here there was a bunch of trades that went through. You know, so I'm down to 156 earlier. I was up like 400 bucks. Right now it's at what? Plus 218, plus 400. So it's getting here. What time is it? 10 o'clock in the morning. Look at that. That's a thousand already. There was a nice move here. Sell, sell, sell. There's some nice, again, depending on the market, you know, the, the one nice thing about, you know, a tool like Markers is, you know, you can sort of run it through, you know, the, the different um, ATMs that you want to try. Well, here it's coming up on the close of the day already, 2 o'clock. Okay, so there's one last trade here. 
So here's three o'clock. Okay, so there, four o'clock. So that's all there is to it to set it up. Um, you know, pretty nice day, 1200 bucks on a one lot. But again, you know, I, I don't want you going out thinking that, you know, every day is going to be this fantastic. Um, you know, Friday was also uh, had some nice price movement. You know, Ultra Bonds is a great contract, but there's there's more to the markets out there than just E-minis and MNQ. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of great contracts for trading. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you haven't yet got the um, order flows sequencing tool, you just go to orderflows.com slash sequencing slash index.html. It's kind of a mouthful. The link is in the description below. So have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.